Let's get into it. Logan Paul was on Andrew Schultz podcast. Flagrant used to be flagrant too. They took the two away. I'm not sure why. Now it's just flagrant. It doesn't make a lot of I sense. I was wondering that. I'm like, what? What's going on here? Andrew's a big basketball guy. He's also a big boxing guy. I don't know. Maybe they just thought it sounded better. I think it sounds worse. But they're killing the game as always. Um, Andrew Schultz is one of the funniest dudes on the planet. He had Logan on, and a lot of jewels got dropped here. Good and bad. Some things that Logan, we think, again, we're not psychologists or psychoanalyzing. We're just taking a look at the situation from the outsider's perspective. We yeah. think there's some good stuff here, and there's some stuff where we're like, what are we doing? Let's take a look and see what Logan had to say. We'll start with the with the, the Dylan Dennis poking at the relationship stuff because that seems to be the most pressing of everything yep. going on here. So let's take a listen. Wait, wait, time out, time out. What do you got to say about Andrew's hair? What's your vibe on that? I don't know what that is. He looks like What's he's in... What's the look in, he's going for? Well, you tell me, because I think he looks like that movie in Glorious Bastards. Where Brad... Yeah, like the... Uh, that's like not Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. That's not Brad Pitt, actually. What's the one with Brad Pitt in the in the tank? In the, yeah, in the that's war? what I'm... That's, that's yeah. the kind of... He doesn't look like Brad Pitt, though. He's trying his best, but it, it looks more right, like... Right, but when they're... they're the, the, that movie, they're fighting the Nazis... I don't know who they're fighting, but he looks like Brad Armpit there more so than the actual Brad Pitt. I'm dead, but like the taper with no with no fade. There's no the, fade. The, that's the, that's the how. Mustache. Yeah, the mustachios throwing me off too. He looks like Mario, but rizzed up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, you know. I wonder if it's part of like the you know the whole. That's that's Mario's rizzed comedian. up brother Mario. I'm dead, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> that's how New Yorkers be saying Mario, Mario. <laughs> But yeah, I don't yeah, know. I was just one. I, I didn't know. You know that's, a crazy, know. that's a crazy. That's a crazy. That's not. Yeah, there's, there's no. I fate. don't know people in the south that do something like that. Dude, you know honestly, I, mean? I don't know. Don't. Okay, first off, don't act like. What are you trying to say? Huh? What are we saying? <laughs> Nothing. I was just wondering. <laughs> Stupid. I just didn't know. That's you know? a that's a low and tight. If I've ever seen one. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but yeah, listen. Uh, Andrew Tate is is Andrew Tate. Andrew, Andrew Schultz. <laughs> it's the Andrew Tape. Hey, the Andrew Taper, son. <laughs> let's go. I don't know what he's doing, but let's let's take a listen at this. As he serves him a drink, <laughs> he's like, "No, we're good. No, trust, we're good." Hey yo, Andrew. what was a, a little, little high grabby there. there, buddy? What are we doing? A little huh? high in the th- little high in the thigh. Whoa, two hands? Yo, that's crazy. he's up on the he, he's almost up on the hip flexor now. What I mean, now? flexing something. Second grab. <laughs> Facts. That guy was the the dude from across the hall being like. You know, there's like that meme is like, I'm not giving you a foot massage. And then the dude from like 20 feet away goes, I'm not doing it either. That was that guy right there. <laughs> He's like, don't do that to me, please. Don't, Andrew, don't do that to me, okay? I'm dead. No one was asking, guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, was that, what was that coming? Milton! Ah! He asked me if I'm trisexual. Yeah. <laughs> Milton, you better calm the fuck down, Milton. That's my boxing Get him some tequila, okay? <laughs> no, for real. So no stress at all. I'm dead. I'll tell you why. Uh, me and Nina are so fucking open with each other. I knew she yeah, had right. long-term relationships her whole life. I knew some of them were very public. Yeah. She's been famous for her entire adult life, you know, like 11 years. She's been paparazzi, so none of this surprised me. And I know what kind of person she is. She knows what kind of person I am. And yeah. so, like, dog, you got to understand, at one point I was the most hated person on the planet. Like, I've heard it all. I've seen it all. Mm. I'm so numb to it. I know who I am. I know who my girl is. I know we love each other. Some fucking internet troll posing as a fighter is not going to get in between us. What do you think of that? Just that answer. That's a great answer. It's a good answer. If you propose to her, that's the answer. If you, you know? yeah. Now listen again. We he's we are not. Someone. He's got to know her. You know, he's right? You, know who exactly. She is. You, you, you would say there's like a girl that you see in a new girl, new things. Like I'm trying to date her. I'm so, trying to yeah. get to know her. Right. And all this new information comes out. You know. You got down on one knee. You better have done the, the the research. And I think that it's not even like more yeah. so 
that Logan doesn't know her. That's that the big thing here. Maybe it is. Maybe maybe this is stuff that he. I, I mean, I assume he knows it, but it's more so that it's now everyone knows it, right? Like that stuff that you right, would, that right, you right. as a public would never know. And granted, like he said, she is famous. This is public information. Whatever. But for the most part, no one would have ever thought to go, oh, let's look into Logan's girl and post all of her pictures from her past all over the internet. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that part it, is the word I think you would struggle with. You know, everyone. But maybe they're just, you know. I think the context helps because you know it's it's fight talk, number one. Right. So that kind of helps because you know it's whatever. And then at number two, it's coming from Dylan Dennis. So you're like, this dude's a troll. You know what it is, right? He's, just, he's trying to get in your head, yeah. you know. Um, Logan says it's not. And the other part of it though. too is, is is his reputation. I mean, I, when someone has a a, uh, a rough pass as well, yeah, I think it's easier to like be like you know, listen, I get it. Gets, people right. say the same thing about me. You right. know what I mean? Right. So I think that I think those things probably make it easier for Logan. Do you think it's affecting him at all? Like I know he's doing the the, the PR answer here. Do you agree with him? Do you think it's just he's just this is rolling off his shoulder? I think so. Uh, just because of Logan's personality, I think he's hard to get to, even 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 in a good way. <laughs> I think he's hard to get to, like the issues with his brother or family. It's he's like it's hard to reach him, type thing. It's hard to reach. Right. So this kind of thing, like this, he, I don't think he's like taking it too personal because he. I don't. You know, I think in a good way and a bad way, it probably probably just kind of you know not like he said he's he's because, numb to it. Right. He's numb to it. Ice cold. Ice cold personality. True. <laughs> well well that's not how you react if maybe not. not getting to maybe you maybe not I don't know maybe not that seems like a guy that might have just a little bit of a personal issue with it I think having to explain it that's yeah, exactly what that's what I'm the, saying the that's what I'm saying to explain it that's what I'm saying more that's probably more bothersome, though, than the whole thing. Explaining the whole situation and having to right. speak on it is what I'm saying. Like, the yeah. fact that Dylan is making him talk about things that he probably already knew but maybe wasn't <laughs> trying to share, obviously, with everyone is the issue here. It makes him just have an out-of-body experience live on camera there. She's but. really gorgeous to me. <laughs> Dog, that meme. I'm so sorry. She is really gorgeous to me. <laughs> That's the part, though. That's the frustrating part because you have to say it. You have to, you have to do it. You know? full, you gotta, you're like, <sighs> Jeez. so bad. You have to make it, you know? So that's probably the part that's more annoying. That's oh. him to do like this. I know. That's this. what's that's what's that making him go crazy, dude. But I get it. That's tough. You, yeah, it's tough. You don't want to have to, you know? That's what, And that's why Dylan's doing it, though. It's not even... Right, you know, to to put it out, it's just so Logan has to address it and he has to talk about it and it has to be in here and he, you know, has to have prepared kind of stuff for it. So, no, but it had to bother her a little bit because I know you're built for it, but she's not. And the double standard, brother, in, like with brother. men and women, like, come on, that's the issue, my man. That's what I'm saying. I'm Poor, not. innocent bystander, third party, female. Who has nothing to do with this fight other than being my fiance? Yeah, mm -hmm. never met. She, she promoting the hell out of it, bro. You can't do prenup after this. <laughs> she, 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 she making so much money, bro. You it's worth something? it. Yeah, yeah. No prenup. No nuppy. Yeah. Come on, dog. Yeah. No nuppy. Come on, dog. No nuppy. That's all. I don't know about all that now. <laughs> Get into a whole bag of worms talking about this one. Um, interesting. It's a little. It's an interesting. I mean, again, Logan, do your thing, bro. But. I, this is the the main point. This is what we try to talk about. It's it's a girl that really has nothing to do with the fight. That is, in in at least for this situation, it's like she has she just has nothing to do with it. She's an innocent, like you said, third party in this whole thing, right? <clears throat> and it's like that's the problem I think that Logan's having more than anything is like you said, explaining it and having to go through it again and talk about it, but also the fact that she's probably do something about this. I will say that this depends on her. We haven't seen anything publicly. At least I haven't seen anything. But I think that his like demeanor and his reaction to this is going to be based off of her. And it seems like she's pretty cool about it. I mean, he does mention something like she's she's innocent third she's, party. But if she was really upset about it, you know, then that 
Can, that's where the pressure can be coming from. Right. Well, I think there, I mean, there's, there has to be a level that she's like, Hey, I'm not like, what is, what's going on here? Can we, you know what I'm saying? There has to be that. But at the same time, she's probably yeah. a professional, at least in the public space with the pictures. And some of them are just random pictures. Some of them, I'm saying, <laughs> but <laughs> there's other ones that are, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, she's right. a model. We get it. So she's probably yep. at least, PR trained in some way to be able to be like, okay, whatever, I've seen this before, something like that. You know what I mean? But as far as him going too far, I think we can agree that this is not the way we would like stuff to be promoted, but Dylan's in the fight game. This is the fight game at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Now, let's talk about somewhat of another pressing matter here. Yes. Which has been the back and forth of the Paul brothers. Jake and Logan... no, I was just going to set it up. You got it. No, I was going to say, Jake and Logan, I think this subject we're about to talk about could have a greater effect. This is probably Dylan far more important. Far, far more important than the right. Dylan fight for Logan. It's this right here, yeah. dog. Um, so let's take a look and see what another, again, Andrew Schultz, an outsider to this entire thing, what he and his co-host have to say to Logan about what this entire thing looks like to them. The, first of all, I do not like this brother bickering shit between either, you and Jake. Me either. We got to put a stop to that. I know. I, I, like I did. It. I did. I tried. I said to him, I said, we got to keep this shit offline, bro. Like, I, I saw his last thing online. I was wondering if you are going to bring it up. And like, I just don't want you guys fighting because I love Jake and I love you. And I, Where the fucking glasses come from? <laughs> I don't want the beef. Like and uh, you guys were having like family uh, you know, squabbles in public. Yeah, like a Thanksgiving combo. That was <laughs> in front of everybody. Bro, yeah, that, that was, was crazy. That was that was a Thanksgiving combo, bro. You said exactly that, by the way. Yeah, you said Literally. exactly that <laughs> before the freaking flagrant formerly two podcast got to it. What's up, boy? That's what we do, Papi Theo in the house. Come on, now what they? I mean, they they may address this, but yeah. off rip, they've done this before. This is not the first time the family squabble has been public with them. Correct. I don't even think it's the second time, right? This has happened multiple times with them. But just in that first clip, you see a little bit of remorse from Logan. You see a little bit of kind of like, okay, yeah, this is I'm I'm hearing this from all angles now. This is probably something I need to address offline. But what I took away from that was it took Jake saying something online to get Logan to realize it. Did you? He he was kind of in the middle of saying it there. He's like, I saw Jake's. And then Andrew kind of jumped in. Logan didn't realize that when he went public with it on his podcast. Right. It's in retrospect. It's a retrospective. When Jake After decided. get back. Exactly. When Jake decided to say, you know what? This is how I felt about it publicly. Because I'm sure he, again, like he said, they talked about it privately beforehand. Jake had even said he told Logan out to post the, the first one. And Logan still did. Right. Yeah. So. It did take, it seems like, Jake saying some things publicly to maybe get it through to Logan that, hey, this is not what you need. Which it shouldn't take that, but at least it's something, you know. It's something. Yeah. And you think I would have learned from? We've just done this exact same thing before. Yeah. You know, it's just been five years since we had any sort of beef. And we don't have beef. I just think, like, I don't know what I think. Are you guys very competitive? I guess that's probably what it is. We, some things For we sure. see eye to eye. Some things we don't. We're both vocal online. In the same room, we disagree. Are, I don't know. I do don't know. you? Because you said it. You were like, I think I'm the be- better boxer. <laughs> you said it. Was that one of those things that like you say with your brother when you're both talking shit? So you're both trying to take jabs, or are you genuinely after watching him? Yo, <laughs> like. <laughs> Why are you smiling, bro? Because I see what you're doing. I was going to say, Andrew's doing the same thing to him. He just said he should head over. <laughs> and he's like, so, like, I know you just said that, but now when you say that, just tell <laughs> me here Andrew. publicly on my podcast what exactly, you know what I mean? So I, I feel for Logan. Look at Andrew's face. Look yeah, no, nah, nah, he knows exactly what he's doing. What am I doing? <laughs> you get, said it. Trying to get that clickbait. Fuck wow. the clickbait. <laughs> you said it. What I'm trying to say I did is, say it, but, but you know what? That's not where I fucked up. Because I can say to Jake and to the internet, I can say I do believe I'm the better boxer. That's <laughs> Yo, come on, come on. It's not that's not a uh, like a crazy take, by the way. Like right, what he's right. saying is not in any way a crazy take. Do you care to explain to the people why? No, I mean, 
I mean, the he can think that he is, especially because he knows Jake more so behind closed doors. And if you're competitive, you I mean, thinking you're a better boxer than someone when you're also on that kind of level, you've been in there with Floyd, you've done whatever, you know, and just off your if you're training, you know, it's it's not uncommon for people to think that they're the best. Right. You know, I I, I think like the issue that Logan has is that he doesn't people take these things because they're they're brothers. It's weird because they're brothers. And then they, they also seen as competitors. So people take what they say, I think, a little bit too too seriously because it's a weird blur lines. And you see even Logan sit there and go, like, in the real time, he goes, I don't know what I think, right? So he's not putting much thought behind this. Not a lot of this is very calculated. Right. But if me and my bro, like Cheo, are like, yep. I'm like, bro, I'm, like, if we go to play basketball, yep. we can be like, nah, I'm better than you. Or we can argue about who's better at 2K. Right. But, but because we're talking about 2K in that type of context, it's not a big deal. Right. Or if we're talking about basketball, we can always argue like, nah, bro, my shot's better or this or that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a normal thing to do. But now it's boxing. Again, no big deal. But now since Logan or Jake are big, the biggest, you know, part they're of the They're in the same players, lane, dude. They're doing right, the same they're in thing. in this Mount Rushmore. They're yep. in this, you know, in this, this the four horsemen of right. influencer boxing. Now it's it's got a little bit more context to it. because yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So it, now it's getting taken, I think, a little bit too seriously, whereas, like, Logan and Jake probably did this a lot. As kids, yeah. And it was, like, just like everybody else does. Yeah. Even as adults, with siblings and cousins and be- and friends. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's nothing yeah. uncommon because they're both in the same line. It's like To me, it's like, imagine two brothers are both, like, are, are the one and two for, like, MVP votes in the NBA, bro. Yeah. Never yeah, been yeah, done yeah. before. Never. That's another but thing. Imagine they're in a completely they both different are. lane, right? And now they're like arguably the top two players in the game. Right. They can be on Thanksgiving or at home and be like, bro, I'm better than you. Yeah. It's no big deal like everyone else does. But then if they're on a like a talk show or like ESPN or whatever, and they're like, I'm the best player in the world, so you think you're better than your brother? Like, yeah. So now you have to balance this weird line mm-hmm. of like you're competitive, but you happen to also be really good. You know what I'm saying? So like, we look at it. In, in in a weird in a weird way, but I think that's a, a part of it is unfair because you can see Logan's like, uh, like yeah. what am I supposed to say? Even though he's supposed to support his brother, but I also want to be the best. There's there's a piece of you it know? that's that. There's also a piece that this is this is combat sports as well, right? Right. And the only way to settle it is to fight each other essentially. Whereas you can play a game against each other and you can dap it up after and it's all cool. Even if you lose, yeah, there's gonna be some hurt feelings, but it's not gonna be hey, my brother just knocked me out cold. Yeah, and it's a one-on-one sport. It's not like yes. the other ones where you can like you can kind of it's my team and you can kind of focus on your own teammates. You can't yeah. do that. Like in any other sport you can do that. Whereas if you're playing, you're fighting, it's, you, it's just mano y mano. Yeah, bro. And I think tough. what Logan's alluded to when he said I, that's not where I fucked up, he's probably going to say it here in a second. It wasn't the fact that Logan thinks he's a better boxer. It's that Logan thinks he and des- like he thinks he deserves certain fights because he in his mind is a better boxer and in his own right. words, other fighters are avoiding him and taking the easier fight with Jake. That's yeah. where the issue becomes. Like, you haven't been fighting, so the arrogance just exuded out of you by saying, I'm better, and dudes are scared of me, so they're taking the easier fight in you. Yeah, that's that's, the, <laughs> that's the big issue. That's, that's what he said. Like, nah, nah, we fighting on Thanksgiving, son. He's you like, nah, saying? now now, it, now we squaring up in front of the freaking turkey and, and sliced ham, yeah, dog. The parents are like, all right, go out in the yard and settle it. Like yeah, They you know would. I mean? and you know you know, GP would. GP would be like, all right, let's go. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? But that's what I think he's alluding to. Let's, let's see. I can say I do believe I'm the better boxer. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come on, come on. Ow, ow. Dog Logan got tight. <laughs> Logan got tight when dudes start laughing. laughing. Watch him. Just watch him. Watch him. Watch him. I believe I'm the better boxer. That's. <laughs> That's <laughs> Al, Al you're doing that thing where when he says it'll be serious, you laugh. Yeah. yeah Why do you always do that I thing? I want him to be serious with us one time. Like, come on. Be serious, bro. Be serious. Come on. Let me squeeze your arms again. Yeah. Be serious, bro. Come on. Bro. Yo, Andrew touching on him a lot. Now, what are we doing here, huh? First the arms yeah, or legs, squeeze, then bro. the arms, bro? You get nothing. You got prime. You got wrestling. You got everything. You got the Can podcast. He get one thing. Like, give him the boxing. He's Who great. Got, He's no, great. Like, He's way better. Whoa. Whoa, Milton. Like, Milton, hold your breath. <laughs> now he's actually mad now. Like he was laughing a second ago. Now he's pissed. Bro, because it's it, 
I, it's I a bit of a personal it, thing, right? It's like yeah, Logan no, truly it is thinks he's thing. better, so saying that to his face is not obviously. It's, it's no, but yeah, but imagine you're at with you talking you and your bros, and you're, well, someone's like, "Dude, your brother's way better than you at football." Oh no, you get tight, yeah, for sure. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, get out of here with that. No, you, you know get tight, but if you didn't have any other evidence to prove that you are better than him, and they said this to yeah. you, if the evidence backed what you, they were saying, and then you still got tight and were like, "Y'all are crazy." It's like, okay, bro. You know what I mean? Like, what are you saying? Yeah. But you still, if it's about your bro, you might just go to the grave with it. Oh, like, you, nah, you, so you, it's personal. Down. No, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like how he looks at Milton like Milton tell these fools. Here's another thing we're not considering. Maybe Logan is far better. We just haven't seen it. But that's the problem. You're you're trying to convince the public that hasn't seen it right. that you are. Go and show us, and then we'll get on board. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't take a couple of years off be like, hey. I'm better. Where's everybody at? They avoided me. No, dude, you haven't boxed in three years. So I was like, that's the, Puerto that's the only thing. Look at look. Puerto Rico, <laughs> like, Puerto Rico. We good. What does that mean? What does that mean? Come on, we family, Boricua. We in here. Come on. Hey, I want you to. I want you to right. judge the Puerto Rican. Uh, Boricua. Boricua. Okay, that that passes. All right. <laughs> yeah, right? nah, nah, you just gotta keep going. Nah, but you for just gotta keep going. <laughs> I feel like you don't fuck with me. I love you. No, I really do. I fuck with you. I but really do. I just like trolling you a little bit. It's but, fun. But way better. <laughs> Yo, way better. Way. Okay, maybe not way, buddy. Clearly. <laughs> I mean, that makes it worse. That makes it worse. That's the. I mean, what is he supposed to say? That from what right. he's seeing, clearly, right? Yeah. If Logan brings up the Floyd thing again, I'm walking off. Damn, bro. Son, I, you, know what, you know what? I I uh, I appreciate I appreciate the, the honesty. I really do. Cause cause here's the other thing. I'm just sitting here running my fucking mouth. You know, I haven't proven shit. I'm 0-1. I'm 0-1. Yeah, but whatever, bro. Cause you don't think that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't think that. Right. I don't think that. And it did hurt you a little bit when he was like, after I rewatched the fight, I didn't think you won. I saw your face sunk. Well, just because he was he was gassing me up the whole he time. He was gassing you, yeah. bro. Like, you won that fucking yes. fight. And then all of a sudden, he's like, you fucking lost, pussy. Damn. But no. He didn't say that. He didn't say you fucking lost, pussy. <laughs> That's what it felt like. That's what it bro. felt like to him. That's you know not what he said. But again, you know? do you do you blame Jake for doing that? For telling him on his podcast that no. he lost? No, don't blame Jake at all because Logan put him in that position. You made him choose, dude. You made yeah, him, bro. And this, because and you this kept you happened. kept telling him that people were yep. avoiding you because he was an easy fight, yep. and you backed him into a corner. And finally, he went, "No, dude, you didn't beat Floyd." Because you kept, by the way, he kept saying you beat Floyd. <laughs> like, no, dude, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But no, I, I like I get where like for sure Logan thinks he did better in that fight than maybe he did, and the fact that Jake was hyping him. Maybe he got blind to the fact that that's that's your brother. He's supposed to do that, and that well, isn't maybe. I, also, he's. I don't think he because Jake doesn't usually do that. So he was. It was unexpected from from that to come from Jake. What the like blind hype? No, not the hype. The oh, opposite, the switch. Said, yeah, the switch when he went the switch. Exactly. I was gonna say the blind hype is kind of what Jake has done. He's been super. Oh no, yeah, no, it's you know? the switch that he just didn't expect that shocked him. He's like, wait, you're not rolling. What you always, you know, fair play. Yeah. All of a sudden, a few <laughs> things happen in yeah. between. Yeah. You asshole. <laughs> what do you mean? All of a sudden. Nah. Listen. Let's let's put a pin in this. I love Jake. I fucking love him. We decided after we both went public with our little uh, disagreements. No more public shit. Nah. It's so stupid. Good. It's so fucking stupid. What are we doing? We love each other. That's my brother. I Why did you put it out in the moment? Um. Like when you guys are afterwards, like, yo, maybe we should just trim it from the pot. We did. It was a conversation. Here's the honest answer. And this is what happened in 2017. And this is why I said we, I can't believe we didn't have it learned from our mistakes because this happened before. We just get caught up, bro. In like the <laughs> ego, like, no, nah, I don't care. You shoot a pod, you're doing the next thing. I landed from a flight from London three hours ago. I'm here, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna go to Puerto Rico. I'm gonna train, like it's just life is go, 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 go. And you often don't think about the repercussions so of moving so yeah. fast. Yeah. You just yep. don't like impulsive is one of the six big things I do. Mm. And I'm trying to give <laughs> notes in the chat. And I'm like, maybe this won't be a, as big of a deal as I think. Will, will it be received right? And it's just a lot to think about mentally that I don't give enough significance to. Boom. Take the glasses Money. off. Walk off, dog. Because that was that was a face sensei call, son. Dog. <laughs> like, roll, roll the tape. Like roll children. Tape, Christian, find the tape and roll that shit. And if you can't find it, just believe us. Yeah, we found this and, and since they called it, he read it like a, a mother goose 
children's <laughs> book, son. You aim for something, and then you aim for it, and then you get to these crossroads where things, the lines get blurred, and you got to make certain choices, you know, and you don't have the time to be like, let me reflect on this. Mm -hmm. Let me have a conversation with that person. Mm -hmm. Because every moment is big time moment. Every moment is clutch. Every moment's G7, dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're gonna <laughs> talk about that too. But... So you get you get into 0.4 seconds where it's like <gasps> it was like one of those those nursery rhymes where the ball is bouncing over the word. That was Sensei calling this thing. Yeah. Bar you know for what's bar. funny is that you can see that Loken is realizing this in, in real, real time. time in real in, time, in dude. He's talking himself through it because he's getting a chance to talk about it in this sort of, you know, this platform, this lane where things are a little bit more chill. Um, because the MB it's weird in that kind of realm because you're you're everything either Logan's doing something or he's getting ready to do something. Yeah. So Logan's only chill time to actually have a conversation like this is actually while he's doing something. Yeah. Because if like let's say he's on the plane to or he's on the way to this podcast. And he's chilling, but he's doing He's stuff. thinking about the podcast. He's yep. preparing for it. So he's not gonna talk to Jake Or he's giving notes on it, or he's talking about Prime, right. or, or he's, he's working he's... on something else. Right. Exactly. So now he gets into this as a long form thing. So the setting now that he's in the pod, so he's kind of His chilling. job in this setting is to answer the question, so he actually gets right. to talk more about it. And they the give things. him a moment to, and then he reflects and he and he's as he's realizing it's just everything just happens so fast and he has no time to really until now until he can reflect like in the moment it's just whatever you know and he's been he's been he's been victim to that himself doing that to himself multiple times yeah you know do you that's the, that's the situation that's the situation with this logan why or will it always take something like this for him to kind of be able to grasp it because I like this Logan. This Logan you can get on board with. This is a guy that yeah. looks like a normal human being, a normal brother, not a not a, like a corporate robot fucking everything's got to be on point. We're on we're on number 1 entertainer in the world mode. This looks like a normal dude. Yeah, man, I think I don't know. I think it's um I think what Logan is going through is a lot more common. Uh it's just the way that he's going through it is uh very unique like the way that he is on this type of platform. But I think he's learning stuff in a, in a pretty fast pace. Because what I'm saying is like a lot of people suck when it comes to like friendships, relationships, and family stuff anyways. And most people never figure it out because they just live their own lives. But he is forced to talk about his personal stuff and in a way held accountable by fans and community and other shows because you have to deal with it because – now you're going to go to a podcast. They're going to make you answer for it. Then they're going to make you answer for it on Twitter or whatever. Whereas I feel like if this kind of riff is going on and pe like personally and you're just like living your life in Ohio, maybe it doesn't – remember, they never see eye to eye. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe they're not forced to figure it out. Facts. I just think like – I don't know. I just think that um, – I think the, I think it, it always takes something like that. I think whatever – I think for most people it's very difficult to like – if unless you're forced to, like, like be accountable unless mm -hmm. something bad happens, that's usually when you take accountability for something. When you know somebody gets really hurt emotionally, you know, or an argument becomes too big, and then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done that a little yeah. too much because then all of a sudden mom's crying, or like yeah, parents the are whole saying, thing like, okay, is we've exploded. gone too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, typically, it's when it, it blows over too much, and then that's usually when they, you know, they clean yeah. up their mess. Nice. Um. But these are just a, a much bigger messes, and everyone is seeing the mess. <laughs> Millions of people are seeing the mess right now. Dude. Yeah, but, but I think I think I you know I rock with that guy. I, I, I mean, outside yeah, of the crypto yeah, zoo sure. stuff, and and, and nah, actually, you know, that's, of course, of course, <laughs> we got it. We're just still, talking about this right we're, here. We're, we're we're super isolated. Lasered here. in. This guy, I can get on board with as long as you you fix the crypto shit, and then it's like, all right, cool, bro. Yeah. Like, that's some self introspection right there. And again, we're no we're 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 no judges juries and executioners we're not god right. out here we make mistakes i have relationships that i probably need to repair my my, my private life but that's the thing logan's Always. private life is on the internet that's the only reason we talk <laughs> about it and he's trying to do it right now in real time in real time he's figuring out we shouldn't do on this. a pod on a, a on, on a pod for the public that's going you know it's right. just it's cyclical again bars um bars. <laughs> cyclical. you got a two bar they love the last one you got another one <laughs> no, that's not okay. Chill. So yeah, next we have on top. You know what I'm <laughs> next we have that's what she said. The next we have uh, Conor McGregor 
talk with Logan. And this is where we do get into that crypto side, and we're going to have to bring it up, but Logan has been using the Conor McGregor play for the Dylan Dennis fight. Like, if you are so confident in your boy Dylan, bet your money on him. Obviously working toward a Conor McGregor fight. So let's take a look at what he had to say on the pod here about it. You know, in some weird roundabout, I was pumped for it. And now that we're kind of, you know, in some weird roundabout way, crossing paths, or he's training Dylan, and Dylan's the guy I'm fighting, and I, I have an opportunity to open a dialogue with him. He's kind of just disappointed me as a superstar. Wait, why? Wow. Just because his his drug problems, the way he doesn't commit to anything, the way he doesn't back up anything he says, the way he's all bark, no bite. Large penis? The size of his cock. <laughs> yeah. Like these things. Well, <laughs> okay. That's like a, it's not a third. That's a, I mean, you got picks or what are we saying? Oh, okay. <laughs> so... Just, just, just from the 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 first couple of things there that Logan said, his drug problem apparently disappoints Logan, which I, I can understand. You know, it's disappointing. You don't want your superstars, your favorites, the guy you're a massive fan of, but won't say in public to be on drugs. Um, the issue of him not engaging with Logan, or again, not standing by what he says, or being all bark no bite. Do you agree with these points? Well, that one, I don't know. What is he referring to? I know he called out KSI. That was pretty... I mean, the call-out was disappointing. Yeah, it was a rough call-out. You know? Like, he couldn't box recent, eggs in an Connors. egg boxing factory. <laughs> yeah, like that right Come up here if, if you want to. disappointing. Yeah, that was a little disappointing. I think he's referring to... Is he referring to, like, the Michael Chandler fight or something? I don't know what he's talking about. He's been saying you know? this. I, I Maybe we should give it more context. Let's, let's see here. <laughs> These things bother me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like, I get why he's friends with Dylan, bro. They're both... They're both bad people. Hmm. They're scumbags. Wow. Really? The word Jake used to describe Dylan is evil. And I said, you know what? That's actually true. He's an evil, rotten soul. Oy. I don't know if heaven exists. I don't know if hell exists. I'd like to believe where we're going. Exists, but if hell exists, Dylan Dennis fucking belongs there. Woo-wee! So it definitely is getting to him. I was going to say, <laughs> we go back to the first part. Eh, you know, I'm numb to it. You just said the man belonged in hell. <laughs> sir yeah and he sounded really serious about it and we know that you don't believe there is one or the other you're you're manifesting this religion that you don't even (laughs) believe in to put him in a place you know is bad dude that's how we know it that you you do not like this fool so facts it's like it's like when i mean when someone who's not a believer is uh on an airplane like oh and they start hitting one of these numbers and you just (laughs) You grabbing hands and, hey, y'all, let's gather around one time and we're just going to pray to our Heavenly Father. You're like, bro, what? Two seconds ago, you was talking about some other shit. What are you saying now? He's like, Lord, baby Jesus. This is like the opposite of that right there. Actually. Now, again, it has nothing to do with what the whole issue with Connor not fighting him is. He's just saying he's a bad person. I still want to know what it is that he's disappointed in, but do you think that Dylan Dennis, because of what he's done now, is is a quote unquote evil person? No, I wouldn't say evil. Evil is like evil's like murdering someone yeah, in cold evil blood, is you know? For those yeah, save for those like premeditated murder or like things yeah. that we you know, we could make this this show really like have a bad stain with that we're not gonna say things that you do that are just terrible. Right. That's like truly evil. That's I mean, evil. He's a, he's, he's he's a, a troll. troll. Yeah, he's a troll. He's annoying. He's a pest. You know what I'm saying? But he's not out here murdering in cold blood. Not evil. Yeah. And the same with Connor. And and maybe he's talking about the, the allegations behind Connor for years and years now about potential domestic and, and or assaults and stuff. But Yeah, I mean, with Connor, you know, I guess, you know, depending on what you believe or the... What's been... Yeah, what, what ends up being proven, whatever. right? You know? If, something's, if something comes out with Connor and that's like hard facts i'm like yeah dude that's fucked up evil dude but again association guilt rotten vile evil grotesque putrid human being putrid yeah, I could... what's putrid mean sensei yo no sé papi tío no yeah we're sé. just gonna leave that one i got no idea see why he's friends with connor so bro, i challenged connor i was like you're gonna you're gonna train dylan mm-hmm. for your fight okay i'll bet you a million i bet you a million that i beat your fighter radio silence Hmm. So no response whatsoever nothing, for the million dollars. Not bro. nothing, bro. And I and I'm, I even asked Dylan about it. Dylan, and the face to face, I was like, Where, "Where's your fucking boy? Where's Daddy Connor with the million dollar bet? He's so confident in you." Yeah. He's like, "Oh, the fucking don't worry about that." Blah blah blah. Like he had- 
Where, I want to hear what the blah 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 was though. What, what was the what was the actual response? Don't worry about that. Worry about what? <laughs> what was the blah blah blah, Logan? Maybe it was. We told you I had to bring it up. Maybe it was the fact that you got to. You probably should worry about repaying the crypto zoo individuals that were scammed out of one point six million. That you could now do with. I don't know if you saw this today, mm. since he came out and doubled his million dollar offer to Logan or to Conor McGregor and said, now Ooh, there you go. You there's two back. million. Hey, that's that's two million could go to the people and you got four hundred thousand left over. But again, he's acting like Conor McGregor, like he deserves Conor McGregor's attention. The problem I think that he and, and even maybe right. Jake gets wrong about this is that Conor gives a fuck about your money. Yeah. Conor does things that interest him. And that he feels can benefit him in some way. Money can right. Connor can make a million dollars probably in the next couple of months off his whiskey. Yeah. KSI was a was a way for Connor, it seemed like, to grab some limelight. Clout, I would say, matters to Connor more than money. Yeah. Notoriety sure. matters more yeah. than money. And he doesn't, at least right now, maybe, or maybe he's playing a little hard to get, whatever, doesn't see Logan as that and doesn't isn't interested in it. Like he probably sees KSI as a bigger star than Logan. Yeah, so it's a bit of a, a reach for Logan to be like, wow. He's like, yeah, what's yeah. up? Like, I get it because you're, it's, it's you're fight trying. Talk. You're it's, trying. It's, in the, it's, it's fight talk, you know? He's trying. Like, I don't mind Logan trying, but this is probably not the way you do it, though, when you got the whole outstanding kind of deal, you know? <laughs> Just me. He has no answer. And, and Connor, you know what? Oh, here we go. I'll tell you what. All right, I'll tell you what, Mr. Moneybags. I'm going to make this back. more interesting for you. How about we double it? Two million. Two million dollars says I beat your boy Dylan Dennis. I know you're going to oh, see this. Oh, that was it. Okay. I know you're going to see this clip. God damn. You're coaching him. You're guiding him. He's definitely going to show up, right? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Both of you are all barred. Damn way. No Come on. Rate it. Two million dollars that says I beat Rate your boy. I will send you the contract tomorrow. That was not Irish, sir. That was Australian. <laughs> I was wondering. I mean, it didn't sound very Irish. Let's just run it back. Like, was it, all right? Let's was just, it Australian? Let's just run it back. And why did Logan sound like Christopher Walken when he was talking? Did you hear that? He just like changed his whole character. Watch. Watch him turn the camera angle, and he legitimately turns into Christopher Walken. You know who Christopher Walken is, right? Yes, he went into a whole bit. I, I, I can't do Christopher Walken, but you know how it is. This is how he sounds. And, and Connor, you know what? I'll tell you what. All right, Dad. I'll tell you what, Mr. Moneybags. I tell you what, Mr. Moneybags. That's the I heard that's the walking. Yeah. yeah. That they did it again. How about? Wow. How about? <laughs> yo, he's trying to be walking. We double it. <laughs> Two million. Two million dollars says I beat your boy Dylan Dennis. I know you're gonna see this. God, I know man. you're gonna see this clip. God damn. You're coaching him. You're guiding him. He's definitely gonna show up, right? Yeah. He sounds like Alexander Volkanovsky. <laughs> Yeah, show up right. He's definitely going to show up right. Crikey, yeah, mate. He's going to show up, boy. <laughs> We're going to do this, yeah? That was You're done, Australian. okay? Yeah, that was definitely Australian. What do you think about the $2 million bet? You think he's going to get his... his uh, you think he's going to get what he wants out of it? How would you approach this? If you're Logan trying to get to Connor, how would you approach it? Um, I would do what Dylan is doing. You have to, right? <laughs> like that, you gotta, that's You got to... Cut deep. You, you have to low blow, dude. You got to aim low. And and that's the sad thing is like if you're Logan, there's a you lot don't want to out there that available for Connor. There's a lot about. more about Connor out there than there is about Dylan and Logan combined. Yeah, especially a two million dollar bet. Like so, what? Who cares? Like you could have made fun of him for his call out for KSI. You can poke at the drugs. You can you can poke you about know. him being small. That apparently right. sends Connor off the fucking ledge when you call him a small guy, little guy, too yeah. not man enough for me. That kind of shit, that yeah. that attacks his pride. Jorge Masvidal yeah. said to Dana, said to somebody, Chael Sonnen, somebody years back that Connor was not man enough for him. He was too little. Oh, that's right. And Connor called Dana and said, "Set the fucking thing up." <laughs> At seventy, yeah, hadn't fought in like three years. Yeah, do it. Whatever. Yeah, that type yeah. of shove. The two million is nothing. Like I don't know how Logan yeah, doesn't true. know this. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't like. It doesn't seem. Even to me, I'm not like, oh, what is... is that doesn't do anything do for me. I'm yeah. like, okay, whatever, dude. Got to take a different route. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Both of you are all bark, no bite. Two million dollars that said I beat your boy. I will send you the contract tomorrow. Wow. But no, he's not going to respond. All bark, no bite. Both of them. I don't know where he's getting the all bark part. 
Like, he hasn't said anything about Logan. I think someone asked him about Logan, and he said he'd slap the nose off him, but that was when he was asked a question about him. I get, I get the Dylan, all bark, no bite. Yeah, Connor's Connor a two-way right world bro. champion. Bro. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's like, when he says he's going to fight someone, he usually goes and fights him. This dude punched an old man and threw uh, a dolly he did, through a yeah, glass. Because he didn't drink his whiskey, dog. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Let's go. That's hilarious. <laughs> Logan's embarrassed look at, look about it. Logan's He's embarrassed like, about it, bro. Watch it. <laughs> He's like, it was Australian. He's like, Shoot. fuck. Damn it. Look at that red face. That's a that's a real innocent look on Logan right there. That's, <laughs> awesome. Dude, that's good to see. That's him being, uh, you know, you can tell he doesn't get this a lot though, and he needs more of Correct. it to get yeah. cl- to get clowned. Not like in a way that's like being mean, but like clowning with your boys type of thing. I feel no, like it's like like what JJ has with the sidemen. Yeah, you know, I feel like Logan doesn't exactly. Like, you don't. I don't think Mike is is doing this to him. Uh, you know, what I'm saying like all day. You he know, tries, like, but it's not the same. It's not the same because Mike's like, yeah, well, I I pay your bills. Shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a little bit of that underlining, so it's there. Yeah, I, I would love to see more of that because it seems like he just he opens up more. He becomes more human with it. Connor, in the box. He knows. Ob- he knows. Objectively, the greatest promoter in fight sport history. Yep. Yes. He's incredible. Yep. Objectively, he's incredible. <laughs> Why would he not take two million for Connor? Dana is the greatest promoter in fight history for MMA and yeah. all that, but for Connor, right? dollars because he knows the outcome you think that he's confident that you be why would anyone think don't that do Dylan that. Dennis could beat me do I mean 30 percent of people might say that he could beat him <laughs> just saying if you had to put a percentage on it 30 percent might say that you know I don't know I don't know genuinely oh. though let's answer the question why why would people think that Dylan could beat him is there any reason in your mind I don't know you tell you tell us. Well, I've, I've said for a while now. I know what I think the only thing Logan struggles with well, is pressure now, and volume. Tr- yeah. Tristan Tate just came out and said uh, that he beats uh, that Logan. That could be a personal be a thing, shot. though. That could be a personal thing with the Tates. They don't seem to like him very much. But that's if, true. if, that's if, true. if we are saying, like, that's not a bad take, that if, if the only way that they could say a body shot would beat Logan, I don't think that he means a clean body, one body shot is putting Logan to the canvas and he doesn't get up. I'm saying that. What I think that Tristan Tate, which Christian, you can pull up the tweet. What he's saying is an accumulation of shots, probably over the the you know uh, over the fight, would then result in maybe Logan becoming more tired and then more susceptible to a body shot, which could then finish him. He didn't say that, but that's what I'm assuming his argument is. Right. Because yeah. that's my if if Dylan was to finish the fight, that's the way I would see him finishing. If he's if he's to win this fight, I do think. It's by pressure and pace. Yeah, pressure and pace and endurance. Because I we have not seen Logan get beat up yet. Right. Even though he hasn't won. He yeah. has not been beaten up. Right. Uh, he's been dropped, you know, by JJ. Uh, but never he's been like, overwhelmed. Really hurt. But he hasn't been right. hurt, like you're but saying. But we've seen him gassed. I mean, he did get hurt by we JJ in the second hesitate. fight. He got dropped. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. We've seen him gassed. And tired and hesitates a perfect to fight word. And, and box because the fatigue in the first fight and then even in the rematch is you know there's a reluctance to throw yeah so we can see him mentally having trouble in the fight if Dylan able to put like you said put that pressure and pace right and Logan loses his confidence as yeah. a fighter and his yeah. and, and his an endurance definitely that could Logan know, that's a, that's definitely the path for Dylan Logan's confidence is one of the most sole indicators of how he fights yeah. And that's, that's a lot of fighters for sure, but Logan does switch off at times. Things aren't going his way, he switches mm-hmm. off. You know what I mean? Yep. So that could be the way. Again, 30%. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No one sees him in Bellator and is like, that dude could strike. True. Mm. He won by a toehold in one of his wins. Mm. Toehold was nasty, though. Come on now. What are you saying? Yeah, it was. The toehold was nasty. Classy. You can't... You can't Dismiss a toe hold, bro. Like you do. How does that work? You just hold the toe, and oh, he knows. He knows how that works. Yeah, I like feet. Yeah, he loves yeah. a toe oh. hold. I knew that about you. <laughs> Schultz rolls too. I think. Good one, Logan. Logan knows exactly what it is. I was is gonna too. say. Exactly what are you acting like, like you don't know, bro? 
You know what? You know what he's you be doing with Craig Jones, and he's dog? a wrestler, so he knows what a figure four. You, know you told me about your feet thing. My, not my feet. <laughs> Didn't tell me about your feet. My feet. Thing. How do you feel about your feet? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel? Do you think he's gonna show up? <laughs> uh, hey yo. I. D- he what? has to show up. You know what? I don't know because again, I keep referencing this face to face. I need this fucking thing to come out because that's when you can see the true Dylan Dennis. That's when you can see the person behind the tweets. And he's just a melty, empty puddle of a man. What's the, what's the clause if he doesn't show? This is the issue. If he doesn't show and he, he, he essentially tries to fake an injury, we get to choose the doctor, by the way, to confirm said injury. Mm-hmm. So we can't fake his shit. What if he has pre-existing? I don't think I've ever heard of that in my life. Wow. The promotion is, uh, or Logan chooses the doctor i don't even understand how that works how is that not some kind of inherent bias if logan chooses the doctor that dylan Dennis goes to <laughs> <laughs> hey this guy has a phd i know him really well not to say that would maybe, happen but how does that I'll even work maybe, well maybe misfit said it, yeah, the promotion i can understand fight. no yeah. i can understand the promotion doing it but when he says we who's he talking about hopefully he means misfits not logan's team gets to choose the doctor he gets to go to <laughs> it's a little odd you know it's like your opponent gets to, that's weird but what he was saying about the whole face-to-face thing. We said this in the presser. When Dylan was there, he does have a real hard time like speaking yep. publicly. Yeah. And I don't know that that is just because he's not a good speaker. Or maybe there is a little bit of the shakes there when it comes to having this moment and him finally being in the limelight that he was on his way supposedly to in Bellator. But now... You're doing it in a in a realm that you're supposed to already win, right? You're supposed to be the fighter. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's that because he's when you, his type of personality when he talks, he seems very like laid back, yeah, like mellow, whatever. And then all so he's talking a big game on on Twitter, and, and then he might he not be built like, like that. For- <laughs> no, exactly. So he's like, oh man, you know what I mean. So it's one of those things where I'm like you defend your to Logan, a girl on brother. Text. Defend you're your Logan. To a girl on text, you know what I mean talking a big game and then all of a sudden you're in person you're like hey so how was your day <laughs> you lose that that riz goes right out the window you know <laughs> she is very gorgeous to me <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so, no. I think Dylan just goes he's just like oh no yeah no I we'll just gotta, hey, we'll see what happens yeah we'll just see what happens here yeah, that's yeah, true. That's true. Person. But but do you think that carry? Do you think Logan's reliance upon that carries over into the fight, or do you think okay, Dylan just is not a great public speaker when it's fight time? It's fight time. Yeah, no, I, I just think it's because of because Logan is like using that at least in this moment to be like, oh, he's all bark, no bite. He's trying to use that face well, to face and be like a little bit of that though. That's what I'm saying. He's a little bit of that. He's done that for he his is, career. Dylan's done that for he his. He says career. it on Twitter, then he comes in person and he's like, hey. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and then it's just like the energy is not the same. Facts. We'll see so, on fight night. Existing injury. Nah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know because the, nah, the, you the, didn't the, think about that. I didn't, we didn't <laughs> think Wait, about what was it? it. So we can't fake his shit. What if he has pre-existing injury? Nah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know because the, nah, the, you the, didn't the, think about that. I didn't, <laughs> we didn't think about it a lot here. <laughs> I mean, he does have two previous ACL tears. So. <laughs> right, right, right. It's a little tough, but no, I, I get it. Like they're trying to not let him back out for no reason, essentially. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got. It. We get. We get played. <laughs> we get fucking do. Yeah. I'll be honest. I saw you. I saw you put that in his ass. Like I thought oh. this was an easy. <laughs> easy bro. To be honest, bro, Dylan is probably making so much money on Twitter right now. If he was to pull out. In this hundred grand, <laughs> in this hundred grand fine was was laid upon him. The dude, I'm not gonna say what the video was today. I'm not gonna say it, but he just put a video out today. Obviously, in the same light that he's been promoting. Guess how oh, many yes. views it got? Actually, I'll look right now. Christian, do not show this on the screen. <laughs> I wanna, I'm gonna say it a second time. Do not show this on the screen. But let's take a look here. <laughs> So that tweet has 71 million views today. Wow. 200,000 likes, 20,000 retweets, and 15,000 comments. 
That, my friend, is a major, major bomb of a content piece. And we know that, I'll be, I'll be up front, we know that Twitter has been paying people out. I was paid out $1,100 last month from Twitter. And I ain't hitting Yikes. Look at nowhere right. near that. So let's just say if there was a reason, that 100K <laughs> may not mean as much as we thought. Dylan might be rolling it. So maybe, there, I don't know. I'm just saying. I still think he shows up. Honestly, I'll be low key genius. Dylan just uses this to like up his interactions, just to get his monetization up through the roof. <laughs> he has been saying, "Yo, let's hit two million on Instagram." I'm just, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Oh, we'll see. Bro. Okay, box nah, it. because here's what's gonna happen: if he pulls out, he owes us 100k. Mm-hmm. But that's that's nothing compared to all this attention he got. You mm-hmm. know, like he he he. He's... Anybody would pay a hundred thousand dollars to be the yes. Focal point of the fight game. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, bro. He's, he, he's gained fucking half a million followers. And, like, I'll be honest, good for him for capitalizing. Some people don't take that opportunity. He capitalized. Mm. But if he does back out, like, where do you where do you go as a man? How do you go anywhere in True. life without being fucking ridiculed for being the biggest pussy and liar in the world? He has to show up. You know, like, are those half a million followers worth being clowned for the rest of your fucking life? I mean, he's been trolling and hasn't fought in a Five really years? long time. So it's like, he hasn't fought he in 1,530. He also hasn't been, the only time he was booked was for KSI. Let's be fair here. Yeah. He'd also come off two ACLs. But yeah, he was talking his shit. You know what I'm saying? Fair play. But all right, there's the Dylan Danis talk. Uh, obviously, there's a lot still left to be determined with this thing. We yeah. thought that the, the the mind games were done. They seem to be clearly still in full effect. Logan's having screaming fits with himself on this podcast and then turning around and being like, it's good. It's good. Hand me that drink. Hey, Andrew, hand me that drink again. Okay. No, it's good. It's good. <laughs> so we're going to see exactly how that plays out. But we have some more to talk about here. Uh, let's go to this. And, and we're going to... I know this is a long one again, guys. We had to. We had to break it down. Let's talk a little bit about... Um, Let's talk a little bit about Prime. What the fuck? Bro. How you just got that in the tuck like that? Come? <laughs> Bro, what? All I see is Prime secret ingredient, and that's what Andrew Soltz says as soon as I go there. i not saying. I'm just, this is what happened. I did not plan this. This is exactly what it, the, the podcast said. I just want to know who it's from, if that's the case. Never mind. That's the secret ingredient. That's, yeah. That's the secret ingredient. Bro. That's why all these you know, guys egg get yolks. Out. Nah, fuck this that. Is just come, on, straight, straight. come on, Rocky. <laughs> Drink come on, Rocky. Come on, Rocky. Come on. <laughs> it's not 10% coconut water. Bro, can, can I just ask it's you? It's 10% Logan no water. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, I like that. Stop going up. Never again. Oh, you're talking about you're talking about lobbyists. I think that there are people that are lobbying against Shows. you, and they are trying to push. Narratives. Yes. Schultz. I had to go on multiple news outlets and say, hey, our caffeine levels are comparable to all our competitors, even lower than our competitors. We are a better for you beverage. I had to basically be like, yeah, we are FDA approved. No FDA investors go- investigation is taking place. Chuck Schumer urged for it to take place, place like Glee. Oh, I can't even. He's struggling. Whoa, I know what's going on right now, buddy. Hold on. Wait yeah. a second. You get a little hot under the hot under the collar here, all right? Look at that fist balling up. This is worse than Dylan right here. You come out to prime. This is this is disrespect, son. By the way, did you see lot, all of this of stuff? It, dude, it's a billion dollar business. Did you see a lot of this stuff? No. I didn't see all of it, but I saw I saw like he had to respond at times. And I, and I Long story thing, short, so Chuck Schumer, like you know, uh, comes after Logan and Prime and KSI by proxy. But everybody just says Logan, which is hilarious. And they're like, oh, Logan's drink Prime, but it's all. <laughs> It's because KSI is not popular here in the, or as popular here in the States. But they basically were, were coming after it and, and I guess essentially saying, look at all this caffeine. It's this amount more than a Red Bull and this. And it's also, you know, tailored to kids. The problem is that the government had such a blanket term for it without realizing that all of Prime's competitors do exactly the same thing. Yep. With the same amount of caffeine. But I think the real issue is maybe what they were trying to get out of it, but also I don't know how they... They were saying that they have two different products. One's a hydration product and one is an energy product. Yep. Not many other companies outside of Gatorade. Gatorade does has that. They have it with... um, I don't know what the name of their energy drink is, but I think they came out with it to combat Prime. 
they have the similar issue. And both are tailored toward athletes and younger adults. So that was the only comparison you could really make. The problem was, I guess, that they were like, this will confuse parents and their kids are going to go buy the energy one, not knowing it's the hydration one. And it's clear that Logan and KSI do tailor these things to kids, you know, at least the hydration yep. side. So that was the big issue. But Logan's having a hard time here. Students all the time come in with Prime, bro, and they don't even know that, like, they're not doing it because, like, like oh, we know you're like, a YouTuber. Like, a lot of these right. kids don't even know I'm on YouTube. Right. Um, and, and But it's the hydration, obviously, that they get, you know. Right. Well, I don't get. think the kids aren't accidentally walking in with an energy drink because their parents aren't getting them an energy. That's what drink. I'm saying. I think if you're if you're a parent, like you do have to take some blame there because if you're getting a <laughs> you're can not like of prime and you're like, here's your hydration like, drink, kids. <sighs> like, yeah, it's like oh, a nice you this. It's a good fizzy one, right? Like you do have to take some responsibility. But I bet you the kids are even going, I want prime. And if the parents would have got like, no, not that one. I want <laughs> the bottle one, right? <laughs> right. But Logan and KSI do they do put, you know, must be 18 or older in the little text. They probably should start saying that when they're promoting them though. Even though, again, yeah, yeah. no one else does that, and I understand that. You're in a, an odd space where you have this hydration drink and this energy. It's lobbyists. It's, it's lobbyists that we don't have. Yeah. Lobbyists for whom? That I can't say, brother. But he, I think we know it. what it is. But maybe, you could say. maybe you could say. Maybe you could say. Mm. Yeah, I, think oh, it. oh, I think it's Pepsi. I think it's Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> well, listen. Pepsi. Hey. Logan can't say it, but it is PepsiCo. That's who's probably yep. coming after them because they are the, and, and even Coca Cola with Powerade, they're probably looking at that market share and being like, we don't want this to dwindle. Let's hammer them. You know, and Gatorade again exists Pepsi. in the same light. So, the question, who knows? here's the question. Pepsi. Are they worried that you guys are going to get big enough where they have to buy, they have to buy you? Are you going to achieve escape velocity? They probably have already us. bought it. Hold on, we don't want to be bought out? We cannot be bought by that particular company. Which Pepsi one? or Coca-Cola? Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say, so I'm just going to just So assume. one of the companies cannot buy you? It would be considered a mon monopoly. Oh, Wait, my God. I wonder if that would have to be Pepsi then. Yeah, because Pepsi has Gatorade. Has Gatorade, yeah. You would think. See, this is what I'm saying. This is why I know that Logan, when, when he does stuff like with Jake or with... Like, it doesn't get to it because... This man's in a battle with Pepsi. <laughs> Facts, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you Facts. can tell, like, even that, like, look how much that affected him. Like, so he like, lobbying mm, that, and he's yeah. like, I can't, I can't, I can't do it, can't do it. You know? So you talk about, and that's Prime, and look how, look how, like, you know, like, Prime has to be such a big part of his, like, yeah. routine in his life yeah. because yeah. the steaks behind it, you know? Wait, they sell steaks <laughs> now? They be selling steaks? <laughs> what kind of steaks? I get the May one cuts. All right. Well, listen. There is uh, let, one more thing on Prime here. This was a big topic oh, of conversation. Oh, talking about this? Yeah. Oh, let's this let's talk one. about this. This is a good one. Jake and Logan. Obviously, we had the top topic of conversation, and one of the biggest ones around the whole beef was that Logan was disrespecting Jake by always trying to bring Prime into events sponsored by Jake's uh, energy drink partner, Celsius. And Logan tried to dismiss that by saying, I'm your brother. I'm trying to run a business. People in the comments loved it the first time. I kind of sounded like Triple H <laughs> that time, so I don't know if they'll like it. But kind of like Randy Savage, uh, you know. So let's see what Logan had to say. I'm just tuning my eye. <laughs> yeah. But you go to Jake's fight and you're like, I need to have my bottle. And that's partially where the, the conversation comes from. No, he checked, he checked me a little bit there. Because, I thought he was right about that one. Bro. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I think he definitely has merit. I... I I think I was. I think why I was upset there is because like I couldn't see our team making an effort that big to like threatening, be like you're gonna fucking kick you, your brother out. But at the same token, like I, I, I could have fucking put down the bottle. Uh, could have put down <laughs> <laughs> easily. Yes, guys, we're gonna take Logan sounding like a, a an alcoholic there. I uh, could have put the bottle down. Now this again retrospect. Yeah, time to think on yeah. it. And again, hearing Jake's side, like actually not just not just he, but listening to Jake's side of it. When he said it in public, when Logan yeah. wasn't there to interrupt right. him and do the whole thing, when he had to face it, and he was like, oh, okay, well, it's out there now, and he can't really respond in real time to it. He has to just listen. That, I think, is the biggest part of it. It's like, yeah, dude, you had to, you know, you were in the wrong here. That's not what you should have done. I even said that in the face-to-face. -face. I was like, yeah, we said you were cease and desist. He's like, yeah, you fuck it. I said, what, and what did it say? He goes, I don't know. Oh, here we go. We got more stuff for Dylan here. So, uh, again, we're, we're trying to, to, I know this is a long episode, we're trying to get to everything. There's apparently more on Dylan and Logan. Let's take a listen here. Dylan, a cease and desist. 
No. Oh yes. Yeah, that- on the fight, did you actually send Dylan a cease and desist? No. Oh yes. Yeah, no. That real? No. Fuck no. I even said that in the face to face. I was like, Yeah, we sent you a cease and desist. He's like, Yeah, you fuck it. I said, What? And what did it say? He goes, I don't know. I said, You, you know, you just got. Do you even know what a cease and desist is? He says, No, I don't fucking. I was like, you just saying things? You just you be making things up? Oh. No, instead of a cease, cease and desist for what? He lied about that. He lied about wanting to go 8, 10, 12 rounds. He won't do it. He lied about the bet. He lied about me uh, denying Olympic level drug testing. He just makes oh, really? it up. Did he want to- We're going to get to that in a second. These lies from Dylan. I heard this around the time when he was supposed to fight KSI about him not reading his actual contract. Oh, that's right. That's right. Do you think that Dylan just has people telling him things that are his quote unquote management? Like, uh, definitely. Do you think they're just saying things to him and it's like he runs to Twitter and is like, yo, I can't believe Logan said that and has no way I could, of verifying I could, it? I could, I could 100% see that happening. That might be 100%. the case here. Like, I know that Logan probably thinks, oh, Dylan's just making shit up. Judging off the last fight where he went, I didn't read my contract, my management team did. And had no idea about any rehydration clause. He genuinely had no idea, apparently. This mm-hmm. might be the case here where it's like, bro, you're you're saying things that people are... What probably happened was, you know, whoever is, again, going, doing these back and forth, maybe, again, I don't know if this was the truth. Maybe there's a threatening of a cease and desist. Maybe there was a threatening of, you better stop doing that or we're going to do something in, in you know, uh, there's going to be some kind of repercussion. I don't know. And Which could have been someone on Logan's team and not even be Logan. Exactly. It could have been manager Jeff being like, hey, there's going to be repercussions. And somehow, you know how you play that game in class where the one kid tells the story to the kid behind him and by the time it gets to the end of the class, it's completely different. The middleman somehow went, hey, but they said they're going to hit us with a season assist. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? And it's true because Dylan would be the worst guy at that game ever. Yeah, dog. He would. He'd always mess it up. He'd be like, listen, brothers Logan said that his uh, kid beat his his dad's uh, son. That was this story every I got. time no it would be like i i genuinely think that's probably what's happened here but let's talk about this part oh yes yeah, because dylan said i mean the eight rounds thing i think is now official they're going eight rounds which is weird they're going eight the main event's going six but the drug testing for this fight i don't know anything about it and i said on twitter let's just do wada level drug testing or vada level trust drug testing for the co-main and main be done with it I don't know what the answer is, what they're going to do, but here is, uh, I guess, what we're going to get. Olympic level drug testing. He'll go 8, 10, 12 rounds. He won't do it. He lied about the bet. He lied about me uh, denying Olympic level drug testing. He just makes Oh, really? Did he want to do, uh, did you not care about the drug testing? I don't give a fuck. Wait, really? I don't give a fuck. Yo. Nah, no, nah, no, you got to care. Bro, you have to be on something. You're, You're looking crazy. crazy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm being serious. You have to be on uh-huh. something. Shut okay. up, Andrew. Can you, on, can you just, dude, why do you get, shut up, Andrew. Shut up. Not like, oh, like dude, you have to be on something. Like, oh, I love it. Just come on, bro. This jokes. He's like, shut. No, shut up. Stop. Stop saying that. Shut up. <laughs> no, here nothing. Rogan has admitted to it. Like, have you ever taken testosterone mm-hmm. in your life? Mm-hmm. Peptides, a little peptide thing, guys. I'm trying to be nice. Crazy. <laughs> oh, no peptides, uh, no buddy. Creatine? Peptides he went, are interesting. He went, he went all the way down to creatine, and he was still. I think he was saying, "I don't think he heard that." Part, I'm like, mm-hmm. "18 peptides, a little peptide thing, guys." I'm trying to be nice. Creatine, <laughs> creatine, bro, this, this is can't be shit. Milton, I like, like, Milton. This is chicken and rice, bro. This is a Puerto Rican diet. I never I've seen a Puerto Rican with abs in my life. <laughs> chicken and rice. I'm He's dead. one of the funniest dudes on the planet. Arroz bro. un pollo, right there, dude. Oh, come on, Bobby Dio, come on. It's, honestly, it's because I drink Prime. <laughs> <laughs> liver King, let's go. You know, it's like when, uh, that's a terrifying He's photo. He's a Liver King. <laughs> King, let's go. That's when, you know, in the, the 80s and 90s when Hulk Hogan told all their, all, its, all the kids to eat their uh, vitamins and say their prayers, brother? Yep. When he was sauced to the gills on anabolic steroids, that that's what <laughs> a lot of that reads like right there. Oh, I know, but yeah, it's really liver kick shit, right? <laughs> like, come on, stop. Hold on, there's stop no Stop it. Way. The, conversation, the conversation never happened. I said, Dylan, I said, how about this? You want to do your fucking USADA testing? I'll do a USADA test. You take an SCD test, the results are public. <laughs> he, laughed and, at, he laughed at me. And he wouldn't do it. Of course he won't fucking do it. He's gonorrhea walking. Uh, okay. Hilarious, I guess. My question <laughs> is this. 
Why are they determining who's drug testing who? I'll do this if you do that. Uh, motherfuckers, it shouldn't be up to the fighters here. Right, right. My concern isn't that we have a little bet on who's got more gonorrhea versus PEDs in their system. I just want who has whatever is going to happen, both guys to get drug tested. Yeah, yeah. What it seems like, Sensei, is we're not getting it. Right, exactly. That's the big takeaway here. It's not, oh, yeah, that, we'll that do response, it. That response, like, I'll do you, I'll do you saw that if you take an STD test? Like, what? First off, you don't, like, you shouldn't be making the rules here, buddy. And secondly, what is this bet? First, we're $2 million. Now we're betting, hey, I might be j j juiced, but you might have gonorrhea. So we got to, what? No, dude. First off, a blood test would find these things. Yep. Literally. Would be, it'd be an issue to begin with. But also, I don't know if we're going to get anything. But it's interesting to hear Logan say, I've never taken testosterone. And again, we're not sitting here accusing Logan of taking anything. It's just an opinion that I hold, and I'm not going to speak for Sensei, is that there is a metamorphic change in that man <laughs> Yeah, from KSI 1 to just KSI 2. Yeah, that was wild. And then from KSI 2, he's kind of kept that and leaned out with muscle mass increasing. Yeah, and he's gone over to WWE, dude. You know what I'm saying? And he was just was injured and he recovered fast. Yeah, and by the way, if, if he was injured and took PEDs to then recover, fine. That's fine. Just say it. And it doesn't have to be in his system anymore. He could be like, yeah, bro, it is what it is. I got the benefit and then I'm back. You can't. Uncle Chael said it, dude. You never tell. Never tell. Unless you're caught. And then you squeal. Yep. <laughs> and then you squeal. And that's it. So, yeah, like, my big takeaway from that is that we are probably not... If they're not testing, do you think the main event is? I think that no. they've... You don't think so? I, I mean, know. you have more experience in this realm than I do. I thought that one of... Either one of the parties, KSI or Tommy, said that they would. And I don't well, I don't know what else they do, like the, the like the ramification of the test, like because well, some, that's what I'm again, saying. Vada was what I heard. Yeah, I don't know what the, what do they do for that kind of testing? How close is it? Like a piss test close? I don't like, even know, bro. Like for Vada, you, they test you in camp, so you have an in camp test, and then you have a I think a pre fight and a post fight. And they test right. Vada does the the, the organization, which yeah, is so Vada is the like voluntary anti doping agency, which is essentially a branch of Wada. Got it. Well, no, like, because, yeah, like, the test that I did, even for my fight with Kenny, was... You can't be just, doing... I, in, I, in my I opinion, went to my own doctor office and got, you know, labs yeah. done. Yeah, you, can't, you, you know? can't be doing regular PBA bullshit testing for this. Like, you can't, in my opinion. If, yeah. it's, if this is going to yeah. be this big a deal, it needs to be, like, you're, you're treating everything like it's a pro fight without the, the commission, but you have to treat that part. You do. For the integrity of it. Unless we're all agreeing that everybody can do whatever they want. And if that's the agreement, <laughs> right, right, right. fuck it. Okay. Whatever. But if not, we have to find something. No. Bro. He's got a real walking, bro. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll do funny. whatever, bro. I've had, I've had this physique. Since no, this is different, bro. Stop it, bro. I just felt I, it. Bro. I like you, but you're capping. Feel, feel, feel my arms. Right I it's felt the arms, bro. Yes. No, 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 I felt the arms. No, look. We're going to really do bro science on the podcast. Feel my arms, dog. It takes one to know one. Andrew's not on the sauce. Bring in Chael and let him feel your arms, dog. Yeah. What happens? Very vascular. Look what happens. Which is a side effect of... <laughs> Vascularity is not the first side effect, by the way, of taking PEDs. The picture you saw was after a hard workout. Yeah. Sweating, mm -hmm. yeah. lighting a certain way. Yeah. Up. Yeah. I'm in good shape. <laughs> this man is shredded. Shredded. This Bid. isn't like some unaccomplishable thing if you work out. You got six. pink. You got pink nipples, bro. Yeah, you got a so nice pink. pink. Yeah. I've been made fun nice of. Pink. I know. I've been that didn't do anything for him. Like obviously, we're not saying you're a bodybuilder, dog. That's not what we're saying. Right. We're not saying you lift your shirt up and you're Ronnie fucking Coleman. What we're saying is there's a metamorphic change where you've gained muscle mass while also becoming more shredded, and in and maintaining that for years at a time. I'm not saying it's unattainable. And this is why you can't definitively go out and say Logan's on PEDs. We right, can speculate right, right. and we can have opinions on it, but I can't sit here and say he is. 
But I can say yeah. my opinion is there is some sort of change here that doesn't, in my opinion, look like it's a natural, sustainable, attainable thing. Sustainability, attainable. Okay. You gotta make a prime flavor that pink. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta make a nipple Strawberry pink. Loganade, bro. bro. Didn't he just say he didn't have a physical change and he just said it took a while to get those? We're pulling at hairs here. Next up, let's go to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Play, play. Oh, that's fire. Strawberry Loganade? That's fire. No, that's it. You got that for your dad or your mom? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> He's so sorry. <laughs> is that your mom or your pop? I'm curious. That shit is fire. So who got the pink pink, bro? <laughs> what is he? What are they making fun of him for? His nipples? Yes. I th th I think there's a clip where he takes his shirt off. Oh, word. Yo, the Peppa Pigs. Yo, yo, the Peppa the Pigs, peppers, pigs he said. Uh, you got some nice big uh, titties, bro. You got big yeah. titties, nah, bro. I posted this picture on Facebook. When I was like 14, I made I made a necklace and I posted like a selfie. It was like, everyone look at the necklace I made. And what? All the comments were about my pink nipples. Because yeah. you have like a very Barbie pink nipple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Barbie yeah, pink. You're not Ken, huh? you Barbie, bro. Yeah. This whole time we thought you were Ken, but dream you got house that titties, Barbie bro. pink. Did you like Barbie? This is what you wanted to hear and then talk about his dream house titties? No, I didn't. I wanted to see the physique. All right, so we're going to wrap up with a couple things here. And, and I know we're looking for the shirtless pick of Logan, which is... Weird to say, but and this has been a long pod, Christian. Hopefully, you can cut it down a little. But we do have to talk about the Gideon situation. We talked about it here, yes. and I thought we offered some some great insight. Especially you, I thought offered some great insight on this. The people did as well. They they really fucked with your uh, breaking down on the breakdown uh, of these what? two. And so let's see if Logan again, as he's shown during this entire podcast, has had any introspection on the G Gideon moment. An Irish accent down. Fuck. This is hard. Some of those dialects are hard. Yeah. Right. yeah. Pivot real quick. So we had Giddy on here, and I asked yeah, him. Yeah, why y'all be? I don't like I this. I asked him personally, like, what that shit was. He gave when? his. When? He was on the pot. Within the last day? No, 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 no. no. You guys, they beefed afterwards. They beefed at Manchester. Gideon was at Manchester. Yeah, but they beefed prior to that, and then they beefed again after. Oh, I there was, you guys were beefing There was prior. no beef, dog. I mean, Gideon What happened Jake. at the fight? Yo, we, there was I don't no want beef. To... Gideon went ape shit on my brother. I texted him because I was friends with him. Yeah. I said, I think you went a little too far. If you ever want to handle something with Jake, just call me, dude. There's no reason to, like, go at his exes. Like, he, like, he went from zero... To a hundred mm. on on my brother. No, but break down the whole shit because like you did, you were I, you were sitting on the couch, you were home. I don't, I don't know, but you did call him a bitch or some shit like that. Wait, wait, when you called him a bitch, you were sitting next to Jake and some other people. Oh my, no! Oh, these guys are deep into it. I didn't even realize some of this shit, bro. Yeah, what? Call them. This is how yeah, it started. Though. Corrected though, because Logan looks confused. It was like, about the, Talk about when I asked you guys were roof. sitting next to each other at the fight. Yeah, I didn't call him. I did not call him a big. That's not. That's not what he's. Okay, so they're all miscommunicating here. This yeah, guy is talking about when he was sitting with Jake, and Jake said something about Gideon, and Logan, I think, called him a bitch, or Jake called him a bitch, and Logan laughed about it. One of those two things happened. This was after the entirety of the UFC switch seats thing, because Jake was yes. saying, you know, being a bitch, whatever, and Logan laughed about that situation. That wasn't Logan sitting next to him calling him a bitch at the UFC thing. He just asked him to move and not be on camera, and it was just like a weird right. kind of thing. Pope, something. No, I didn't he, call him he anything. He broke it down on the fight, and he was like, hey, you came at him, and that's why he responded no, in Jake that said way. that. Hold on, can I pee? You see, exactly. Jake called him a bitch. Logan was sitting beside him and started laughing yeah. about it with Jake. As in, oh, that's, you know, ha ha ha, you called him a bitch, that's funny. I, 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 right, I, I right, right, pee, right. I, I no, want to listen to this. It was Logan. Hold on, hold on. No, hold on. I, I, I didn't know for sure. Really? I didn't you know guys keep going if you need to. So but... why does he feel that? Andrew disappearing into the fucking castle, apparently. <laughs> why are you calling him Two-Face? Explain the whole thing. It's, it's, first off, I hate giving this narrative any fucking fuel because I don't give a fuck. Mm. I just don't. Um, we were at a UFC event. He was sitting next to us. And th there was a camera, a live... By the way, this is not what Gideon got upset about. At least not the majority of what he got upset about from his word. Streaming yeah. camera in our face. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like being live streamed. God struck me down. So I politely asked him, very politely, and this is all on video. I never called him a bitch. He's my friend. Mm -hmm. We work together with Prime. 
I was like, hey, bro, do you mind switching seats with me just so you can face the other way? Because I just don't feel like being live streaming all night. Please don't be mad at me, JD. This is like coming from a nice place. I don't really, I'm not good at like messaging. Whatever I said, it was like polite. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. I think it rubbed him a little bit of the wrong way. Cause like, I, and I get, I get content creation, especially being like a young creator. He's, he's in the heat of it, dude. And he's doing great. His numbers are great. Yeah. He, he's got a, he's got a loyal audience. W's in the chat for Gideon. Um, and so I think it may have, I think it may have rubbed him the wrong way, dude. Like, like, you know, I'm, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. I'm not daily vlogging. I'm not doing the live streams. Like I value the time and privacy I have with my girl at these events that we come to a lot. <laughs> I think it rubbed him the wrong way a little. Choking her? What is it? What is that? What was that move? I don't know what that's uh, going on. Go. A little bit. Uh, <laughs> then he snapped on my brother. And like people can say that I'm a bad brother and all this okay. shit, but like, you know, I only have so much tolerance for people who are talking shit about Jake, like including Bradley Martin recently who came out and said But Jake did start this, by the way. Jake was the one I'm pretty sure that called Gideon a bitch first. Gotcha. And then Gideon came back with the, oh, that's why this, that's why that, that's why this. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Your comment section, let me know. Wait, what happened you. with the, with Brad? Nah, nah, nah. I love Brad. Nah. 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 So I, I texted Gideon. I was like, hey, bro, I think you went a little too far with Jake. We hopped on the phone. I was like, if you ever want to clear anything up, and he like apologized, whatever. And because he was talking about uh, his ex and all the, all the deepest cuts you could go for with Jake, he did in one live stream. But this was a mutual ex, right? No, no, it was Jake's. It was Jake's. It was it was like the 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 controversy back then. Oh. Before we let me just I'm I'm just give me a second here <laughs> because I I don't know that what Logan's saying is all the way true here and I just want to make sure that it is before we we let this happen and it's not yeah, that I'm Jake, like so what, I just want to see what happened to what first was saying the timeline about Jake? yeah I want to see what happened first here just because we we want to let Zach sit down and you're kind of taking up the space do I look like Jideon huh I'm your own Brother, I'm not I'm not a fanboy like Gideon who's like, oh, yes, Logan. Oh, yes, Logan. I'm your own brother, bro. We can go toe to toe. Did Gideon clap? So Jake did start this. Yeah. So Gideon came back with this. Apparently. Back with this. But when it's about Alyssa, we, we're not going toe to toe, you know? You, you, uh, Logan, Logan, you can have my girl, Logan. You can have my girl, Logan. It's okay. Your shit's bigger than mine, Logan. You're big bro. You're the alpha. You're the omega, Logan. Jake, Jake, you picked the wrong one, Jake, bro. So that, that was, wild. was the, the, the response. Now, Logan Tech, now, this is the thing that's crazy to me. He said, yo, I think you went a little crazy on my brother, bro. Yeah, I think. I'm a little confused here here because <laughs> you went a little crazy on your bro, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but it's different, bro. It's different. <laughs> no, it isn't. Listen. You know why? Because he's talking about the girl that Logan. No, I, that's what I was gonna say, though. I was gonna say I think because it it it, it bothered Logan more because he's referring Cause it to was, their yes, it's bro. personal to him. Yes, yes. I get you and this. But, and by the way, Schultz like, hey, Schultz no called it too. My brother, except for me, though. It's like one of those like no one can beat up my brother except for me. You know. It's one but of those Schultz even about. calls it. Listen <laughs> to this. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. That's the whole issue for Logan. Andrew's ready, bro. Andrew's Dog, they ready. know, dude. They. That's know. crazy. Shoot. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I get Logan texting him, like, "Hey, you know, you went a little hard on my brother." I think it hurt Logan more than it probably hurt Jake. No, it was yeah, Jake's. It was Jake's. Jake's. It was. It was like the the the, the controversy back then. Oh. Anyways, anyways. I think both of those things, which I can say confidently, I was within reason. I don't, I don't think either of those are like out of the ordinary. Kind of rubbed in the wrong way. So when this Dylan shit started coming out, and by the way, that was the extent of my conversation with Gideon. Oh, really? Then when this Dylan shit started coming out, Gideon stoking the fire with Dylan. Mm. Fucking get back on Twitter. You're the funniest guy ever. Like, and I'm so I'm in my head. I'm like. You worked with us, with Prime. You've been on my podcast. We're friends. We have open dialogue. I even gave you advice with some stiff stuff in your career. Because of these two things that I think were very reasonable, why are you completely flipping mm. to someone who is an evil human? Especially as a person who has, is as 
supposedly good virtue does Gideon is? Dog, you hit him with the you believe in God? Dang, okay. Yeah, he's a good guy. Why so, choose Dylan fucking Dennis? An actual evil human. Okay. Why? That's the thing. Because, like, Jake can go at Logan, but he's still going to go at Dylan. Yep. He's not gonna like if you side with Dylan, that's it. Like you're you're that's, you that's are cut off. Line in the sand, bro. That's, that's cut off. Being like, do you do you follow off, Logan so. here at all? Because I, I I see where he's coming from a little bit. Like I obviously we like Gideon over here, but it, this is what I have to think that Gideon in his mind thought Logan turned on me and laughed about something that I thought we were buddies. We're supposed to work together. And you're sitting here laughing when Jake's calling me a bitch and saying I'm bowing down to you. Yes, I'm a fanboy. Yes, Logan. Yeah. And Logan's laughing about it and not checking yeah, him. Yeah, but that's that to but me. But that's, that's like, I know it's small. It's that's like brother stuff, bro. Like, yeah, you're, if I'm talking with you, your brother can say something to you, but like, oh, it's so, but sensei, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, what he's trying to say is, and then I guess as we get closer to the whole thing that happened recently, where Gideon said the little, "Hey, do you want me to move down or whatever, or can I have this seat?" When Logan passed him, right? It set off something with Logan. That if it was squashed then, he saw the Dylan Dennis stuff, it set off something with him and went, yo, you're two-faced. Because in Logan's right, mind, I right, guess right. they squashed it, and now you're still talking about this Dylan shit. Yeah, the, the jump from that situation to now, like, backing with Dylan. Right. Now, if he, now, again, Logan has mischaracterized a lot of what he said here. So he could be okay. mischaracterizing this whole jumping to support Dylan thing with Gideon as well. I, I, we could take a look at that as well, but I'm pretty sure Gideon did a stream where he was like trying to remain somewhat neutral, but the, they, he just kept reacting to pictures coming out. And I don't know if, if Gideon sent Dylan a message or something. Too, Cause you're talking about that's his, that's his fiance now, dude. If you're going to be like, that's it. You can't, you can't dude. you can't do that. If, if you do, you know, that's it. Like we're no longer we're no we're we're not homies. We cut no. ties completely. So if you're Gideon, were you in the wrong here? Is Logan get this one? Is Logan is Logan? Is no, Logan? I mean if that's how well if that's how Gideon really feels about Logan, then you know he's getting what he wants. He doesn't want to be associated with Logan. Clearly. True. You know if that's how he feels about him. So well, he I did mean, say to Logan, "You're I'm not real with you because you don't deserve to be real too." Yeah, and I know he mentioned that like that. Oh, I came at Jake, but it's okay if KSI comes at Jake. That's or yeah. That was like the big thing of the, the whole you you said it was it was it was those old jokes with me, but you won't say that with KSI type thing. Yeah, I know, but it's just you went to Dylan, bro. Like you yeah, know. you went to the nuclear. That's option. why. That's why exactly. So if he's done that already, and now he's there at the presser, and Logan and knew Jake that. Goes, Come on, Logan. Whatever. That's it, dude. Yeah. I can see how Logan with that. I can see how just Logan like, bro, go. I don't want to talk to you. Like, oh no, what do you mean? It's just a, it's just a friendly interview. Oh, okay, that's why two face, whatever. And that's you know? when he starts snapping on him, yeah. Because that kind of makes sense. So like a little bit, little bit mean, more Gideon, context there, yeah. Yeah, so Gideon definitely deserves that in that sense for for Logan's response. I don't think Logan's. I, I think they're both kind of. It's a in, weird. It's a weird deal, yeah. I kind of. I they're both. They're both right. They're right both wrong. Jake kind of said something. That's but that's Logan's brother. And then right, right. You, you're chatting with Dylan a little bit, and he's talking about my fiance. Like, yeah, you can't. It's not like if KSI went. If KSI went and was like reacting to the Logan and the fiance stuff, and laughing at it and texting Dylan. Yeah, just laughing. That's all it takes. It's over. Just a laugh, and that probably would be like, yo, the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. It's not when it, when you're talking yeah. about that kind of stuff. That's you fair. Know, Logan's definitely. The way he reacted was was soft, for sure. But right, I understand a little more now with the context. Yet yeah, you probably shouldn't have <laughs> poked the bear if you're Gideon in that moment. You could still do this, you know what I'm saying? But you probably shouldn't have. Hey, let's do an interview. What are we saying? Because you know, yeah, you know what I mean. Like he knew exactly. That's why when I heard it though, that when I, we talked about it, I was like, yeah. oh, bro, I know. Gideon, <laughs> this, this. He was trying to trying to poke that bear a little bit. Which again, so what, 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 what's going on? <laughs> But if that's what he if that's what he wanted. But that, I was gonna say he said he in a video after he said in a video after I wanted to say it to his face. I didn't want to do it right. over the. I wanted to to be able to have that in person, and now I can wipe my hands with it. And that's what he wanted. Right, the fair exactly. play. You Which got is, what yeah. you want. Yeah. Yep. We got what you want. So there it is. That is all right. Let's see if we can find this shirtless picture that you're dying to see of Logan that you said off camera. Probably at that, the end. 
Honestly. I know, but you were just you were like, I really need to see Logan shirtless, so I, I want to find it for you. <laughs> You're like, please let me see that man shirtless, please. They were trying to take his clothes off. They were jumping pretty over sure, the couch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like like I said, Genuine started playing as you started mentioning it to me, and you had the Poppy Teal glasses <laughs> on. I don't know what happened. But. You're a bad brother, bro. <laughs> I know. What are you he's talking about? Bro. Dude, I just drove that shit to nah. the fucking number one in the app store. He's making the same Yo, face as when Jake beat Nate. <laughs> we can't even say that because we got to do that. Make a better, yeah. like, do a better ad. No. He said you're making the same face you made when Jake beat Nate when he was doing his better <laughs> read. Yo, let me say. You let looked me, really disappointed yeah, when Jake beat Nate. So you did. You Yo. did, bro. <laughs> you <laughs> did, bro. Yo. I'm just saying. Let me tell you something. Take your shirt off. Let me tell you something. Take your shirt off. Take your shirt off, though. Take your shirt off. Yo. Schultz, it didn't need that for him to do this, but it's uh, why you just <laughs> out of nowhere. Take your shirt off, though. That was like three or four times. Take your shirt take off. Your take shirt your shirt off. off. He's like, yeah, yeah, let me show you what I said about. Yeah, off. yeah. Take your shirt off, though. Take, take. Shirt off. Take your shirt off. Nah, yeah. We but, won't oh, be able to hear. Oh, let's go. Let's All go. Right. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. This is the yeah. natural. Yeah. Hold on, let go. me fucking say something, bro. <laughs> there we go. You got the mic. Y'all always taking me out of context. Okay, that's a perfect way to stop it. Y'all always taking me out of context. First off, he looks straight out of Malibu's Most Wanted. I ain't gonna lie. Secondly, <laughs> this this can be attained naturally. Let's not mistake. This can be. Yes, it absolutely. Can. Yes, it can. Now, mind mm. you, Logan's been on a podcast for an hour. This is not after a workout. This is real authentic. What we saying? Is Logan Paul natural? <laughs> he said, "What we saying?" <laughs> oh man, give me a he percentage. Is, give me a percentage. In your mind, this is not, again, an absolute, because we are just forming opinions based on the evidence given here. Under, dude, he is freaking chiseled. Gotta be under 50%. Under 50% chance, chance that he's on, that he's that he's clean or that he's on? That he's natural. Okay, so you going 60-40? Right? Yeah, I guess. You know, I, I don't like. I don't look into it a lot, but it's I just, don't. Bro, I don't either. But you, I mean, I do actually. That's not true. That. I do look into it. I am not in the it's Logan specific. That, but for, that, like, that is the thing. Is the maintain lean. the maintaining of it. Unless he's in fight camp, he's in camp yet. He yeah, he could be yet. in camp, but this is how he's looked, dog. It's like even some of the best of the best fighters don't look like this in camp. It's his traps to me. It's the build in his shoulders and his traps to me. Yeah. And you could say his shoulders can be built from boxing. Fair play. But his traps. I don't know. But I would agree with you that it's a 50 50 shot, at least. He looks like he's like about to make weight, bro. He's probably, when I heard him at the press conversation, he was 196 at that weight. Like looking like that at 196, I was like, holy shit. That looks like a 220 pound man. If he's already at 196. I'm 196. <laughs> that doesn't look like a natural 196er. That's what I'm saying. And dude. I'm like 5'11". Oh, yeah. You dad bought it up. We'll say it's a 50-50 shot. Just to, based on our opinions. It's not a... An, again, I have to say this because people in the comments are saying, Wade, you're accusing... No, right, I'm right, not. Right. There's no accusations being thrown here. It's our opinion that a 50-50 chance Logan could be either has used something before... Because he's probably not using right now if that's if that would be what he was on. But let's just say at some point, Logan may have been on some PEDs. That's what I'm saying. 50-50 shot. I wrestled in front of 50,000 fucking people. Mm. I was exhausted. I was wow. in pain. Oh, I wow. drove... Are you listening to anything he's saying? Because I'm not. I'm mesmerized right now. <laughs> Me either. No, I drove a plane three hours Let's go. across the country to make it to my brother's fight. I show up. By the time I'm there, I've had a day. I'm exhausted. So he's, he's, a Greek, he's a Greek goddess. He's I'm so a goddess. Man, I'm cooked. Well, a goddess would be a female, but yes. <laughs> They're doing the same thing. I know. that We're all mesmerized. Look at the show. Older striation and definition, dog. Yeah, only thing is, that, only reason I'm like a little hesitant because because of this this one guy, Isaiah Williams, and he the fuck is was, that? Uh, uh, is a kid that um from Haverhill. He was the number two high school wrestler in my high school. Like he's the greatest athlete to come out of. Uh, this is what we're saying. Like our area. No, 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 no. This no. is Isaiah if Williams. You put Isaiah. No, Isaiah Williams, bro, that name is way too common. Isaiah Williams, wrestler, Haverhill. What are you saying? He was the leanest guy I've ever seen in my life, and he was always, like, he was clean. He looked like this when he was young. Like, his genetics was crazy. This guy? Look at him. 
That's him in high school. That's crazy. Oh my god, he looks like he's about to snap this kid in half. That's not him. And we're we're one year apart. Um in age. Bro, it, wrestling is such a like a It's true. Not a it's a muscle credit because he was ranked number two. He was nine nine and one in high school. Yeah. He lost the 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 one match that he lost was in the national championship on ESPN. Talk was like and none of us watched it because it was like we were like, <laughs> I don't know, like, it like was, wrestling. We what? heard about it after. Yeah. And it was like Isaiah just lost to the number one guy uh, in the country. He's Jeez. like ranked number two. And it, but he was like, bro. And he like he, he was 170 pounds and he looked like he was 200 pounds. The difference. And I'm not saying that again, we're not saying the difference is Logan yeah. has always looked ripped and has had muscles. He's he's looked yeah, crazy. But, not, physique, yeah. but it hasn't been that. Not saying you couldn't. He couldn't work to get that. He could. He absolutely could. And we know Logan works his ass off. We're not saying. We're just saying. 50-50 shot. 50-50 <laughs> shot. That's what I'm saying. But there it is, man. A long breakdown on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this has become like, this last couple of weeks, we've become a proper podcast breaking things down. But <laughs> yeah, bro. We're going to get back to the shorter form content. We're loving both of them. Hope you guys like this. Comment down below all your thoughts on what exactly went on in this podcast and... I guess everything that is the mindset, readiness, opinions, and or person of Logan Paul. We don't have the answers to what happens with the fight, what happens with Jake, what happens with the drug testing, all the other stuff, but October 14th, it's coming soon. I guess we'll find it. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs.